my lord, the president of the Court of Appeal, Honorable Justice Monica Dongwang Mensum, CFR, ably represented by Honorable Justice Barker, the presiding justice of the Court of Appeal, Abuja Division. My lord, the chief judge of the Federal High Court, Honorable Justice Soho. My lord, the chief judge of the FCT High Court. My lord, the president of the National Industrial Court. My Lord Justices of the Court of Appeal here present, my Lord Justi Judges and Justices of other jurisdictions, our host today, the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barrister Yeso Wike, the Honorable Minister of State of the FCT, Dr. Maria Mahmoud, the Attorney General of the Federation, Prince Latif Fadwemi, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, ably represented by the Solicitor General, Mrs. Beatrice Jedi Agba, members of the National Assembly here present, the Executive Secretary of the FCDA, Engineer Shehu Hadi, staff of the FCT here present, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply honored to be present at today's flag off ceremony for the construction of 40 residences for judicial officers of the Court of Appeal, the Federal High Court, and the FCT High Court. This is indeed a very significant milestone in the continuous effort of the federal government and the FCT administration to enhance the welfare of judicial officers in the Federal Capital Territory. The judiciary plays a critical role in safeguarding the rule of law, upholding justice, and protecting the rights of citizens. In fulfilling this role, judicial officers must have the right tools and environment to carry out their duties with independence, impartiality, and integrity. Beyond the courtroom, a supportive and conducive living environment is essential to their ability to focus on the heavy responsibilities entrusted to them. Judicial officers require peace of mind, security, and comfort in their residences to fully dedicate themselves to the rigorous tasks of interpreting and applying the law. The construction of these residences is a practical step towards ensuring that judicial officers are well supported. It goes beyond addressing the basic need for housing. It reflects the recognition that the mental and emotional well-being of judicial officers is directly tied to their living conditions. These homes will provide a secure and tranquil environment, enabling the judicial officers to perform their duties with greater focus, efficiency, and clarity of mind. The judiciary as an independent arm of government must be equipped with the resources necessary to function optimally. While judicial officers are committed to upholding the rule of law, the provision of appropriate residential accommodation is a critical component of their welfare. By making this investment, the FCT administration has demonstrated a commendable understanding of the unique needs of the judiciary. I would like to acknowledge the renewed hope agenda of the present administration of His Excellency Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, and the FCT administration for its initiative and forward thinking in implementing this project, which reflects the importance placed on the welfare of judicial officers. This initiative is an essential part of creating an enabling environment for the judiciary to discharge its constitutional duties effectively. I am confident that this project will be executed to the highest standards and completed within the expected time frame. The timely completion of these residences will further enhance the capacity of our judicial officers to serve with dedication and commitment to justice. As we mark the beginning of this project today, I hope that it serves as a reminder of the importance of ensuring that those who serve in the judiciary 
are given the respect and support they deserve. The ability of judicial officers to, to perform their functions is strengthened when their well-being is prioritized and their work environment is conducive. We are extremely grateful for the demonstration not only of commitment but of action by the handing over of the certificates of occupancy to the heads of courts who are having um, residences built for them. In conclusion, I wish to express my gratitude to all who have worked tirelessly to make this project a reality. I look forward to seeing it come to fruition, and I am grateful to God Almighty that he has blessed me to be in this position at this time. And I'm confident that it will be a model for similar initiatives in the future. At this point, it is my singular honor and privilege to flag off this landmark project of the construction and design of 40 number houses for justices of the Court of Appeal, judges of the Federal High Court, and judges of the High Court of the FCT. We thank the Honorable Minister most sincerely for his commitment to this project. I thank you all for listening. God bless the Nigerian judiciary. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Honorable Minister of the FCT has led the way for the official flag off and groundbreaking of the 40 number judges court. Today, this day of our Lord, the 21st of October, 2024. We congratulate the FCT and the Honorable Minister and his team Thank you.